Hi everyone, Richard here. Uh, many of us are now thinking about next school year and uh, some of the workflows that may need to change to uh, accommodate social distancing procedures. And uh, one of these workflows is our dismissal workflow. So I've uh, developed an approach here using all G Suite tools uh, to help create sort of a community environment of collaboration without all the chatter over the PA system or, or walkie-talkie. So essentially in this approach, students remain in their classroom until they are called. And this approach facilitates the calling of that student via um, a Google Form submission and a Hangouts chat thread. So here's how it works. Um, dismissal staff will uh, have access to a, in a Google form uh, and uh, an app. And if they're outside in the car line, uh, what they would have to do first is enter a unique three-digit pin uh, that's assigned to each student. So this would likely be visible from within the car. So as they pull up to the school, somebody could be typing in the pin number of that student. Um, we have a database of of students here um, with their corresponding PIN numbers. And when the form is submitted, um, the data is further distributed to their specific classroom tab. That's right, this could be up on the screen um, or being closely monitored by whoever is supervising that classroom space. And once the name appears, uh, that teacher will know or that staff member will know to send the child down for uh, parent pickup. So in addition to that, it'll also initiate a Google Hangouts chat thread to sort of establish a two-way communication. So that way, if it seems to be taking longer than usual, um, the people outside can you know, communicate with that post and say, hey, where is Javier? Or where is, is you know, or just to get feedback to say, oh, they're just picking stuff in their locker, they're coming, so on and so forth. So it really creates a, a very fluid conference uh, sort of community confirmation and communication tool of who's where and what's happening. So I just wanted to kind of walk you through the workflow of this. And um, But before I even do that, there's another method of being able to reset the daily dismissal sheet. So what this will do is each, and this would be set to automatically run at midnight every night, but in case it didn't run, this manual tool would be available. And what this does is it just it deletes all of the dismissal data except the data that's in the, the log sheet, right? So this could be archived just for records purposes if you need to produce a record of who was dismissed, dismissed when and at what time and by, by who because it does track uh, email addresses as well. So um, this time we are going to, uh, we're going to dismiss uh, Helen. So Helen's PIN is 260. So we're going to kind of just simulate a scenario where Heather's parents are, Helen's parents are coming through the car line. And we'll pick it up from there. So uh, Helen's parents are there. And we're going to put in the PIN number on our mobile device that is outside in the car line. And if I hit Submit, uh, we notice right now that the data has landed. And up here, we'll talk about this. I already got a notification for the Google Chat. Um, this happens really quickly, but before we go to that piece, uh, we can see that Helen's data has also been distributed to the 4A tab. And as we notice with my notification up there, um, I have a chat notification. So if I navigate over to uh, the chat window, I can say, OK, it says, please send Helen Doe 4A for dismissal. So I can then say, if I'm the person in that room, oh, she's on her way. And this opens up that two-way communication about uh, Helen and her status for dismissal. So this is the approach uh, that I'm, I'm experimenting with. I hope you like this idea. And again, this is all, you can build this with just the G Suite tools that are freely available to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.